What if you could ask an accomplished engineering leader the key strategies that he or she uses to motivate, encourage, and lead their staff? Well, that's exactly what I'm gonna do in this week's Engineering Management Lessons video. Today, I have with me Keith Hall. Keith is a principal associate and traffic engineering department manager at Collier's Engineering and Design. And so Keith, tell us, you've managed a lot of teams in your career, you've led big projects, you've led a lot of people, what are some key strategies and lessons that you've learned about leadership in engineering? Yeah, so that's a great question, Anthony. You know, what I would say from my perspective, you know, it, on my career up to this point, I've, I've found that, you know, there's a void kind of in their industry of that skill set of leadership. Um, particularly, you know, coming out of college where it's a lot of technical experience. And and my perspective and my approach to it all is, you know, look for those opportunities to, you know, kind of learn further and and push your boundaries kind of, you know, we I always believe that, you know, we can develop great leaders no matter who the individual is, right? Um, some people may be more natural to it than others, but to me, leadership is an extremely important way of, of developing passion and empowerment in your team. Um, and I found it through a couple of avenues. I'm a really avid reader, um, like I, I've mentioned to you previously before about, you know, some of the conversations of, of a lot of leadership reading that I do. Um, but I've participated in several leadership programs, which have definitely accelerated my career um, and definitely helped give me some really good views of different ways to approach things. Um, but from my perspective, what I found really works um, is having an honest conversation, you know, with your staff being human with them, being empathetic with them, understanding where they're coming from. You know, it, uh, there's a difference between being a manager and being a leader. Um, and if you can develop that skill set where you really empower individuals um, to want to progress their career, you know, to work excellently together as part of a team, but also excel in what they do in their own professional development, it's key to, you know, making you and your team very, very successful not only that, but also helping the success of the firm you work for, the agency you work for, et cetera. I have found that has tre been tremendously important. Um, it's a thing that, you know, to me, leadership is something that's practiced and never really perfected. It's something that we continue to work towards, you know, each day. Um, and I really have found that, you know, whether it's chairing the current leadership ITE program that I work through now, you know, having the ability to have conversations and talk through things that are really important to us, communication skills, presentation skills, all those things are really good to being a leader and empowering a team. So I think to me that, that those are some of the aspects that I have seen that's really been an advantage from a leadership perspective. That's great, Keith. So you, you set time out to make sure that you're having conversations with your team members on a regular basis about their career, their career paths, where they're headed, how you can support them. So that's something that you do regularly? Absolutely, Anthony. Yeah. Um, I typically have, you know, regular lunches with my staff where you go out and have a, a detailed conversation, you know, about what's going on, but it's, we take a break from the work environment, right? It's very easy to say, Hey, we'll just have a conversation in my office, but we need to kind of break away from the current environment and have a conversation of, you know, listening. I first listen to understand, and then I help to provide a response that can help guide them in their career. I, every person has their own kind of unique career path. And I think that's really, really important. Um, and how can I give them the tools to be successful? So we have those conversations regularly with the staff, um, you know, all individual conversations that we talk through. Um, and then we work towards developing goals and strategies to making them successful. Um, because I, I, I believe that, you know, when we empower individuals to, you know, succeed in the elements that they want to succeed in, um, there's a lot higher degree of success um, rather than trying to put them on a prescriptive path. That's great stuff, Keith. It's great to hear how focused you are on the development of your team members from the experiences that I've had. I've had a lot of engineering professionals tell me that that's what's missing for them and that's something that they look for. So it's great to hear you're doing it and we appreciate a few minutes here. Thanks so much, Keith. Thanks, Anthony. Thank you so much, Keith. That's great stuff. I hope that you enjoyed our management lessons video for this week. We put out videos like this weekly to help engineering professionals become better managers and great leaders. Please subscribe to our channel here to make sure you're getting our videos on a weekly basis. And we look forward to helping you engineer your own success. We'll see you next week.